Hey there guys, it is me the Dom Fanatic and welcome to uh, GPC Season uh, blah, 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 I can't even speak. Season 7. Um, <laughs> yeah, as you can see, I am now obviously a member of the GPC. Uh, I was kindly invited to join in this season and I obviously gladly took the invite because it's always nice being able to play against some new uh, battlers, many of which in this league which I don't think I've ever battled before in any kind of you know capacity of Pokemon. Uh, it's always a good experience getting draft, draft experience, especially when you know you've got your own league, the PPL, to, to try and win. So um, it, it's always really nice being able to add, basically, be added to another league. Anyway, um, obviously week one, um, I know I haven't put a draft analysis out. Um, I will try and, and get one out at some point, hopefully in the next, in, you know, before week two comes out. Um, but just to give you an idea of what I have got on my squad sheet, I've got Victini, which is a Z Move user. Um, Skarmory, Mega Sceptile, Flawgis, Milotic, Heliolisk, which is also a Zemu fuser, um, Mamoswine, Cabalion, Braviary, and the Lord that is Shelmet. Um, today we're playing against Juiced and the Angels of Behiheim. Um, I, I, I'm pretty sure that's not a typo. Is it a typo? I'm really confused. Yeah, he, he can't even spell his name right or his name was taken. So it's Angels of Behiheim, which, yeah, which makes more sense to me. So. Um, yeah, Juiced, his team is quite hard to prep for. Um, he's got two very scary uh, Z move users, which I'll touch on in a second. Most importantly, he's got 12 mons in his draft. Um, prepping for 12 mons with, with 10 is, is quite hard. He could literally bring the six you're expecting or the six you're not expecting. So I think, in, in my opinion, for that reason, he had a good chance, obviously, team prep wise. I think matchup wise, um, it, it was, you know, pretty. I'd, I'd say I had some things in my favour, um, but he definitely also had some things in his favour as well. So it's, I'd say fairly even-ish matchup. A couple of scary things in his draft. I'll go over that quickly. He's got Latios, which is a Zemu fuser, Landorus Ferium, which is also a Zemu fuser, Tyranitar, Blaziken, Stoutland, Whimsicott, Registeel, Electivire, Golbat, Scrafty, Driplim, Mega Blastoise. So um, I'll go over my team very briefly. We have got uh, Jolly Life Orb, Mamoswine. I think I ran Jolly just to try and speed tie with the speed uh, 80 speeds. Um, Juice has got he's got Driftblim, which is base 80, Blastoise, which is uh, base 80, um, Blaziken, which is base 80, and I want to say Stoutland is above that, so I'm not going to include that one in there. Um, and I don't know what Golbat is. I think Golbat's faster if it's actually speed invested. So um, a couple of base eighties which I'd want to try and speed tie with, but Jolly is actually more than enough, you know, power wise. Um, as you can see from the six he's got, four, five, five a week to Mamo's stab. Um, all all that isn't is is uh, is the Stoutland, and I have got many ways of dealing with that Stoutland. To be honest with you, when I prepped this team, I was kind of expecting Lando to come because while I do obviously have Mamo's wine. Lando is scary. Um, I do have Victini, and I have many other things which it could be good against, so I'm quite surprised not to see it. Um, but I also saw, um, you know, in his draft, he's got quite a few Intimidate users, so I'll get back to that in a minute. Um, next up, I've got Mega Sceptile, which is Timid Max Speed. I was obviously thinking about running Modest, because I think that the fastest thing on his team is the Whimsicott. Um, which caused me all kinds of issues this game. I'll go over that in a minute as well. Um, I, I re then realised that I can outspeed base 80s by one point at level 100. Um, so I had to run Timid max speed because basically I then out, uh, outspared Scarf, Driftblim or Scarf. Blaziken. Blaziken was definitely the one I was more worried about. Um, so th and, and then obviously there's other potential Scarf is like Tyranitar. Um, what else could there have been? The, the, I don't know. The Rogue Scrafty. Uh, you know that I could have outsped as well so uh, you know I felt like the speed was definitely you know important and I decided to go just fully specially offensive because he really didn't have much other than that goal bat and I knew the goal bat would be coming and I regret not bringing Heliolisk uh, but I obviously do have the Mamo Swine at this point I have Victini with Bolt Strike and also the powerful free crate we'll get on to that in a second and I do have Psychic on the uh, floor just an ice beam on the Milotic, so there's plenty of ways to hit that thing. So I knew that was one thing that would have to go for Sceptile to do some work. So next we've got the Skarmory. It just forms a solid core really with floor just. Um, it it kind of takes on the Golbat really well. They kind of cancel each other out, which is annoying. Um, but you know, it can also potentially take on any kind of physical Latios. Not that I was expecting it, but you know, that's a thing. Um, the, the Tyranitar is. Uh, pff, well, you never know a Tyranitar, it can be mixed, it can be special, it can be offensive. I am specially defensive, um, 
because I didn't need physical investment. Um, it also takes on Whimsy got pretty well. So I, I felt like it, you know, just overall, it would have been a really good sort of bring because I need that bulk on my team to, you know, make switches. So partnering Skarmory and, you know, the defensive core is, is flawless. Um, it's a proven core, which I used with Mega Latios once. And, if you know, if I had a dragon like that, I would be in such a good position with this team, but obviously my dragon is Sceptile, nothing wrong with that, um, it's just that, you know, if I had a bulky dragon of sorts, this core would be gross. Um, but I am the Wish Protect, Moonblast and Psychic, um, I felt like I had to bring Psychic basically because obviously Golbat would wall me, uh, it would also wall Skarmory, um, and I, I didn't want it just closing down two of my things straight away, especially if it came down to Golbat versus Florges, you know, I, I would be, at least then be able to win uh, that fight. So um, that that was my I think the sort of thought process behind Florges is also max defense. Um, we've got the now the, this is probably the the most surprising kind of set. We've got the especially offensive modest um, with a lot of speed investment. I can't remember what it is. Um, competitive adrenaline orb Milotic um, with Scald, Ice Beam, Hidden Power Grass, and the Recover. Um, he has got three Intimidate users on his team, he has got Lando, he has got Stoutland, and he has got Scrappy. Um, I was really upset at Team Preview when I didn't see the Lando, and obviously when I saw Tyranitar and I saw Stoutland together, I was thinking, okay, you know, it's probably like uh, Sandrush, um, bulky T-Tar, bulky Golbat, in potentially bulky Latios, so that was what I was thinking at this point, so I kind of thought that was a waste, but um, basically, if Whimsicott is damaged, my Milotic just kind of wins at, at plus two, um, and and the speed, at the speed. I'll go over this now because there is a play in the game, um, which is, you know, based on my thought process at the time. In prep, I completely missed the fact he'd Whimsicott and until right at the end, because I had to then readjust. I can't remember what it was. I think it was my. I can't. It was speed EVs on something, um, because I had to readjust for that, and. So I did it on that one one, but I didn't do it on Milotic. I thought at this moment in time, Latios was the fastest thing on his draft. So in the end, I realized I did change it. Um, but then obviously I went and did other things, uh, you know, but like a, one or two days after building the team. And um, I, I forgot I did it. I remember that I had the issue of, of building, you know, speed creeping, but I forgot that I'd actually done it in the end. So we'll go over that when it actually happens. And then finally, we've got the Choice Scarf Victini. Purely because his draft is quite slow. Um, I don't expect him to bring a Scarf Whimsicott, he could potentially be a Scarfed Latios, so that could be the only potential thing which has beads me. I was quite scared of like a Scarfed um, Electivire, that thing is really spooky because you know it's move pool is enough to break my defensive core, it's one of the few things that can do it quite easily on its own, so that's something I have to watch out for. Um, and you know Choice Scarf you create is, is fun because he, he doesn't really have any fire resists. Um, well, other than the Latios, but it's still not going to appreciate a B create anyway. So, um, without further ado, we're going to get into the game. Um, I'll, I'm trying something different. I wasn't going to do this live, but I had too many. I had my dog whining in the background. I had family trying to get ready to go out for the evening, and I was just waiting for a time to, to actually record. I would have done it live otherwise, but we'll go over this slowly. So we do lead with the Victini, because like I said, I'm Scarfed, so I'm pretty confident I can outspeed anything that he's got. So um, he obviously doesn't know what set of Victini I have. I was very close to bringing special, but I just decided to U-turn. Risky play, because obviously if I had clicked Psychic or something, that could have done a lot of damage to this goal back. But I'm going to go into the Mammoth Swine, and I know he's going to bring in the um, Stalin at this point, because I obviously realised it had Intimidate at the very first go. He obviously predicted me to leave with Mammo, um, because he wanted to get the Intimidate off. So... As you can see, I'll pause it on, on this screen because you can just see what, what's happened on the, you know, my special attack has gone up, speed has gone up. I very much predicted him to go back into the Stoutland um, and, you know, I was thinking, okay, Minotic might not be able to sweep, but it's definitely going to be able to put a huge amount of work in uh, against this team. I think that Tarantar might be able to live a school um, with, with the sand up if he's specially defensive. Um, there's also the chance that Golbat could potentially live depending on his investment, I believe. And I'm pretty sure Stoutland, purely because I can't hit it super effectively, and he's obviously bulky in some kind of sense on this thing, um, will be able to take a hit as well. But obviously, he's either got to leave this thing and sack it off to two hits, or he's got to try and play some switch games uh, around me. But back back to the game, obviously, he does intimidate me. My adrenaline orb goes off, gives me that plus speed. In it, You know, this is where the whole sort of problem I had with speed tiers and prepping a while ago. Um, I actually am outspeeding the Whimsy Cop by a point. Um, shut up, iPad. Shut up, iPad again. Um... But I, in my head, I'm thinking, okay, I remember I had the pro. I, I forgot to do that. Oh, I was thinking I'd forgotten to do it, so I'll be the Latio. So, um, I, let's just resume. Obviously, I'm at plus two now. I'm just going to click school. Um, I had school just in case I couldn't get set up. And, you know, burns are nice. And uh, as you can see, the burn 
really help me out with this uh, this little mini fight here against this uh, this Stoutland. So I click the recover here, just seeing if he wanted to maybe switch out to keep this for for the intimidate uh, and and death fodder maybe with something like Mammoth Swine in case it gets out of hand because five out of six things on his team that he's bought are weak to Mammoth Swine. So I think potentially the intimidate could be quite useful, but we do take that thing out. So. This whimsy cot is really annoying. Um, obviously, he encores me into scored, um, and I'm doing 48%. So at this time, I I, I want to talk about why I switch out here, mainly because I don't know if he has a grass move at this point. He's locked me into scored, so in my head I'm thinking, okay, it's going to be a free hit KO. If he has got um, energy ball, Giga Drain, he is going to do a huge amount of damage and probably just kill me off. And I'm thinking, looking at that team, um, Milotic is very helpful against the Golbat and the Tyranitar. And it could also potentially do something against the Latios as well. So at, my, at this point I'm thinking, okay, I've got ways of dealing with Whimsicott. I'm going to keep Milotic because it could be useful. But obviously I'm sacrificing the boost. Now, as it turns out, um, I, I should have probably seen it coming from the Encore. Um, he's Leech Seed, so chances are he's going to be Substitute as well. So then he's either Moonblast or he's Giga Drain. So here we see the Substitute, so he's Leech Seed. Um, I click the Toxic here, obviously completely think, you know, forgetting the fact that he will probably be Substitute. Um, and then he Encores me into Toxic, which uh, it doesn't really matter because I missed twice anyway. So um, I'm obviously Seeded, and, and that's not the best thing. But now the fact that I know he, he's only going to have Moonblast or Giga Drain as an attacking move, both of which Victini can switch into really comfortably, that's fine. So, um, I'm kind of forced to play my Victini here. He's going to give the Leech Seed, he's going to miss, which is um, pretty useful actually. Um, because I do then get to go for V Create. Now, obviously, this thing's going to be outspeeding me every single time, so he's just going to get a substitute up. Um, he's going to be able to PP Storm me out of V Create. Or, going to try and PP Storm me out of V Create. So, um, uh, luckily for me, I think, yeah, from the percentage he was at here, um, if he'd got one more round of leftovers, he would have obviously then potentially been able to set up another substitute and then waste, uh, make me waste another V Create. Um, even though I'm at minus four, three special defense, four. Now I'm at minus four special defense. Um, no, it's about minus five. I'm just at minus something terrible. Um, obviously, that move blast can do a decent chunk. Now, 49%. If he gets rocks up, I can only obviously have one more switch. It's agonizing that it was that much, and he does get his rocks up this turn. So, I go into floor just because I am max defense, and you know, I might be able to potentially scare it off with a move blast, do some good damage. But I go for the wish here, just scouting, um, and turns out he goes for toxic. I had protect, so there was no reason for me not to click protect, but I was actually expecting him to switch. Into goal bat, which is why I clicked the wish, so then I can start clicking psychic. So um, I go out into minor tick here, seeing obviously think I can take a hit. I wanted to get one more scored off, but um, I actually get hit by the stone edge. Uh, he doesn't miss, and the sand kills me. So that's kind of annoying, but it's fine. Um, now I this is my chance to basically get Mega Sceptile uh, in in the game. Actually, Mega Evolve him um, uh, gives me another switch into that. I say switch in, obviously Electivire gets Ice Punch, but you know, it's uh, it, it's something that will help me, um, help me, uh, help my Skarmory survive. Um, here, Juice makes a very nice play. Uh, goes into the Electifier on my Switch. Uh, he obviously predicts me to go into my Mammy Swine, because he gets the cross drop and misses, so... Lucky for me, he, he does miss. Um, but, I, I should have seen this coming. He goes for the Iron Tail, and it actually kills, which I'm really surprised by. Um, mainly because I'm fully defensive, and it's obviously non-stab, I know it's super effective, and... Electivire has really good um, physical attack. Well, I'm surprised I still killed. So I go into Sceptile. Um, I, I should have probably gone into Victini. Because um, now Golbat gets a free switch in every time. Uh, it, it's a it's a great check to to uh, to my Mega Sceptile. Now, um, I'll explain why I stayed in Dragon Pulse again rather than going into Mammoth Swine or at Victini at that point. Um, I had left the room. I had to do something for my mum for a couple of minutes. And I didn't click to the fact that, that Dragon Pulse was a crit. I just thought I'd be able to kill him off potentially with a roll on another Dragon Pulse, so uh, that kind of made my heart sink a little because I'm losing ways um, to deal with this Golbat, and this Golbat is the stop. If go if Golbat goes, um, Mega Sceptile cleans up his team 100%, um, and that's my kind of thinking. You know, I need Mammoth Swine in on this thing because he either has to let it drop or sack something to Mammoth Swine. So that's now the game plan. I had to get Mammoth Swine in as much, but we'll get back into it now. Obviously, he roosts that off because I didn't catch the fact my first one was a crit. So now I'm going to go into Mammoth Swine because he's either going to roost again or he's going to, you know, go for Grave Bird and it's not going to do too much. Um, but he's obviously going to switch out. I could have predicted that, but if I was going to go for Earthquake, he could have gone into Latios and Icicle Crash would do good damage to anything. So 
The way he brought this in, I thought that he might have the, uh, whatever the ground berry is. Rather silly, I, you know, because I, I didn't even calc. I should have calc'd. Um, I might have even been able to kill. I still haven't checked, but I could have potentially been able to kill, so. Um, and I lose Skarmory to a crit stone edge, which just rubs salt into the wound. So, I am going to bring in Sceptile, because it's my sure thing of killing it. Um, I don't think he'd be the grass berry at all. Um, if he's Chopple Berry, he might survive, but I'm just going to take a good drink, because I want as much health on my Sceptile as possible. Um, I am going to go into Victini now, and you just go for the Brave Bird, which is, you know, the smart play, because there's nothing else he needs to do at this point. Um, he doesn't need to defog, doesn't need to roost, so why not click the Brave Bird? And as you can see, I've only got the Mammoth Swine and the Mega Sceptile left, so I, it's looking really bad for me. Um, the fact that I lost Skarmory to a crit was annoying. Um, I shouldn't have let Floor just go, or, you know, I should have thought about Iron Tail. Here I was like, fuck it. I have no reason not to click Earthquake, um, I can't switch Sceptile in, and turns out I kill, you know, this thing. So I could have actually just stayed in and killed that thing with uh, Mammoth Swine and not lost Skarmory. And then I could have potentially used Skarmory to switch into this thing, um, and that would have then given me a switch into my Sceptile, and I would have still had my Mammoth Swine around. So, all in all, really annoying, that would have been, you know, much better for me. I do take this thing out with Dragon Pulse, which actually surprised me, because Latios is kind of fat sometimes. Um, I'm going to give the Dragon Pulse here, obviously it's going to be a 2 hit KO, but the range of health I'm at, uh, Brave Bird will kill me, plus he does just go for the Roost. Um, probably wasn't necessary, but I completely understand why he done it, um, and he gets the 2-0. The um, yeah, good game, Juiced. I, I can't really say much else. Um, Shardy had a go at me saying, remember when Milotic won? I think I've justified my reason why I switched out, because I didn't know if um, that Whimsy Cop was going to die to another scored. I didn't know if I had a Grass move. And I thought, you know, Milotic can still do a lot of damage to his team. Uh, I'm quite glad that it got to work. Um, I do have Bravier on my draft, so I could have done it with that as well. Um, but I, I think, you know, the, the, the water and ice coverage that Milotic had would, you know, hit his team really well. Um, and, and that's kind of the reason why I bought it. But I'm glad it worked. At least, you know, it's nice to see that my... And not gimmicks. Um, I've pulled it off before, and other people have pulled it off before. Heck, Juice even said afterwards he should have thought about it, because he's pulled it off before. So, um, it was a really good game. Uh, thanks for the game juice. We are unfortunately my, uh, Norton 1 in the GPC now. Uh, next week we're up against Merc, um, the guy who saved my ass from relegation in uh, D1 this season and uh, who I also lost to in the PCL so um, I don't think I've ever even beaten him. Uh, to be fair all the games I play against them are close so it'll be an interesting game but I'm pretty sure he's got a gross core of Tango from Tux Apex or something. and. And lots of other gross stuff, so I'm not looking forward to it. So, if you guys did enjoy uh, the battle, obviously make sure you leave a like, go check out Juiced, um, subscribe, and all that, and, and follow the GPC everywhere. Um, and obviously, my opponent Juiced and myself. Um, I don't think there's much else for me to add other than uh, have yourselves a good day, and I will see you later. Bye.